right, you guys, it is hair wash day, so I want to do a video to take you guys through my hair routine. I do have tape and extensions in right now, which I shared about in a video how I install them, which ones these are. They're from Vin Hair, and they're holding up really well, which I'm really happy about because they were also affordable. And with tape and extensions, you want to make sure you're taking care of them. Probably even more so than your own hair because your own hair, I mean, you obviously want to be taking care of your own hair. But what I mean by that is your own hair is coming out of your follicles and your scalp, so it's getting the natural oils, all of that. Hair extensions are not. There's nothing to hydrate them, to keep them hydrated and all of that. So you do want to make sure you are really like, taking care of them in that sense. So pre-shower, I like to apply a hair mask from mid-link to ends. I don't do this every single time, but maybe once a week, once every two weeks. This is also great if you're trying to grow your hair. So if you're trying to grow your hair, it's very helpful to take care of the hair that's already grown out. So I have this Rich Risha rich reset pre-shampoo mask here from Blake Brown and I do like it. it smells really nice and I like to use this in conjunction with this hair serum that I got this is like a multi-use serum it's a three-in-one sealing serum you can use it mixed in with your conditioner a mask you can use it after you get out of the shower apply it to your hair and you can also use it throughout the week kind of like to rehydrate it but a little goes a long way because this stuff can easily make your hair kind of greasy another mask that I have and love is this one from Divi this was actually sent to me it's their whip to repair mask it has argan oil peptides and different types of extracts and stuff that are great for the hair and it is whipped it has like this tea tree pepperminty scent and i also have their volumizing shampoo and conditioner this is specifically for fine thin hair which they did also send me along with their serum the scalp serum so this is what i'm going to be using in today's video but i do also have blake brown shampoo and mask treatment that i kind of like to go to. like i change out my shampoos and condition conditioners a lot but these are nice if you're looking specifically for something that's going to clean the hair. It has like that pepperminty smell to it. It's great for the scalp. It's great for the hair. It doesn't weigh the hair down. It cleans it. It does a good job. It's not like a super luxurious smell. It's more so kind of has like a aromatherapy type smell to it. So this is great if that's what you're looking for. And I love, 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 love that it has a pump. For me, this makes the biggest difference because in the shower, the last thing that you want to do is be dealing with like untwisting caps, which the Blake Brown one does have, and I don't love it about that. Cool packaging, but for me, a pump will always be my favorite. Always, always, always. It's just so convenient and so easy, and I like that the bottles are not massive and huge. They're, you know, a good size that will actually fit in your shower. So the first thing that I'm going to do is brush my hair out because it was in a braid all night. If you do have tape and extensions in, I would highly recommend keeping them in a braid or a low ponytail as you're sleeping so that as you're tossing and turning, it's not getting tangled because I feel like that is where a lot of the tangling and the frizz and damage can happen. I like to kind of hold the hair while I brush out the ends and then brush through the mid lengths to make sure there aren't any knots and then finish off at the top here. What I'm going to do is grab this whipped mask. I just kind of scoop it and then I'm going to do a pump or two of this sealing serum. This is just like an extra zhuzh, a little something. It really adds so much softness to the hair. So I love adding it into hair mask treatments. I'm going to slather this on. I just kind of apply it from here down. I'm not applying it to my scalp because it's going to be just too heavy. I do have a hair oil that sometimes I'll use to oil my scalp. Probably use it like once a month if I'm being honest. But when I do use it, I do love how my hair feels like super soft and just really, really nice. So I have this one here from Revive. It has a really good blend of different oils and ingredients, essential oils that are great for the scalp. The way that I like to use it is on the scalp pre-shampoo. This will make your hair super greasy, so you can't really use it as a hair oil when your hair is dry. You could, but I feel like it would just be way too much. And you can massage it in. I do have that little scalp massager that I got from Kitsch on Amazon. This one here. I feel like it kind of tangles the hair a little bit so I haven't really gotten into using it as much as I thought I would but it does give your scalp like the blood will flow to your scalp for sure. So there are different things that you can do for scalp health. I also like to add in some sort of a scalp serum, which is like a leave-in treatment. Divi has one that is absolutely amazing. It has amazing reviews. Everything came tumbling down. This is the scalp serum that I was talking about. I have not opened and used this one yet. I did already use a whole bottle and I've used other ones as well. For example, I have the Boldify one here, which is a little bit cheaper. This one is nice because it has peptides in it, copper peptides, as well as just a great blend of ingredients for the scalp or if you want something a stronger and tried and true there's minoxidil which i personally started using i just have to get into the habit of doing it i haven't seen any results just yet because i recently started using it but this is a studied ingredient 
for hair loss, especially genetic hair loss, which I do have on both sides of my family. So there are different things that you can do, like I said, for overall hair health. Those are just some things that I do for myself personally. At the end of the day, everybody does something different. Everybody's hair is different. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair in a little bun, twist it up, tie it with a tie, and then keep it in for like 30 minutes or maybe up to an hour. And I'm gonna wash it out, shampoo twice. Anytime you do any kind of heavy treatment, especially a hair oil, you wanna make sure you are shampooing twice, otherwise your hair is gonna come out feeling like you never washed it. First thing that I do every time I get out of the shower is wrap my hair in a hair towel. This is a smaller hair towel specifically for hair. It's lighter, it absorbs all the water. I got it off of Amazon and I like these so much better than the ones that have like a tie loop in the back because those always break. I had like four of them and they all broke. This one is like a towel that you just tuck under so it lasts a lot longer. I had my hair on that for probably like 30 minutes while I did my makeup and stuff. I like to use a leave-in conditioner because all the other products that I use don't have a heat protectant in them. I don't think this one does. It didn't specify on the website. It doesn't specify in here. So I do a few spritz in the crown and then a few spritz throughout the extensions. I also have a blow dry primer from the same exact line. I actually really love this line. This one's very similar to the Pureology one, but it costs so much less. And then the blow dry primer is like the Redken blow dry primer, but basically half the price. The blow dry primer doesn't do much for my hair, but if you apply it throughout and you're blow drying your hair, it's nice to have because again, heat protectant. Moving on to mousse. I have this one from Blake Brown. It's the Glam Mousse and it doesn't have heat protectant in it so I won't be purchasing it but I love the formula. It is such a weightless formula but it still gives me a little bit of something. I think this is actually better than the Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. That one really didn't do much for me. It was super weightless but my hair was just it was like as if I didn't apply anything at all. This one is also weightless but I feel like it actually fluffs up the hair a little bit. It's not crunchy at all or crispy. None of that. This isn't a mousse from the 1990s. So I use a golf ball sized and apply it through like the crown area and it smells nice. This is the black currant vanilla smell so it's like a fruity black currant with a little bit of bougie to it. I'm just going to very gently brush through the hair using a wide tooth comb. Be very careful when brushing the hair when it's damp. Last step is to seal the hair. This is where the sealing serum comes into play. If you have naturally fine thin hair like I do, then use the tiniest amount, the tiniest amount. This is such a good sealing serum, but it will make your hair greasy if you overdo it. Even for like my extensions, it can, I can easily overdo it. So I just do a small little pump, rub it in between my palms, and then I start off on the ends. So I seal the ends and then run it through to the mid links before I go in to like my natural hair in the front here to like really seal it. And I also like to use it when my hair is dry, but again, you gotta use the tiniest, tiniest amount. I actually like this better than the Olaplex one, but I do love the Olaplex one. This one doesn't make my hair as greasy. This one doesn't get rid of frizz, whereas this one, I feel like it really seals everything and it helps smooth the hair. So, you know, different products for different things. So that's my post-shower hair care routine. Oh, one thing that I forgot to know about the hair towel is that extensions really weigh the hair down when they're wet. It's better to wrap your hair versus letting it be like soaking wet, drenching, and then weighing the hair down as it's wet. I wouldn't recommend that. And I'm gonna move on to blow drying my hair. I'm gonna use a regular blow dryer. I feel like the one that I have from Melody Susie, it's just so quick. It literally takes me under 10 minutes to blow dry. It's a process, but it's quick. It works. And I'll just come back on here when my hair is dry. I blow dried the hair and I usually blow dry it until it's like 90% dry because otherwise it takes too long to get it to 100% dry and I feel like it's more damaging that way and I, I let it air dry the last 10% until it's like completely dry, which it now is. So now I can go in and curl it. I don't ever leave it straight. My hair texture is different from the extension, so it really stands out. I personally like to curl it. I have my T3 wand right here and this is the interchangeable barrel one so I can interchange it between two other barrels this is the smallest one I used to have a heat protectant spray like a thermal spray which you use right before you use hot tools you just basically spray a section use a hot tool go to the next section spray it use a hot tool and do this for the rest of the hair but I ran out and on Amazon it's saying it's not gonna be in stock until like November or whatever so I was like mm, maybe I'll just get it from Ulta we'll see but it does help I'm not gonna lie to have a thermal spray go ahead and curl the hair and how I do it is I'll take small sections because then otherwise it doesn't really curl and I clamp it at the top here my light just died whatever I'll clamp it twist it hold it for a few seconds and then I unclamp it pull a little bit twist hold it for a few seconds unclamp, pull a little bit, I leave the end out, twist, hold it for a few seconds. That's how I just personally curl it and then I kind of release it like that and just, it just makes for like a looser type curl. So I'm going to do that for the, all the hair and I'll show you guys what that looks like. I let the hair cool down for a little bit before I go in and brush out the curls. By the end of the day it loosens up even more which I love that look 
so much versus this is nice for like church or something but for like every day I love those like barely there curls so it will loosen up and it holds till tomorrow as well I just kind of like freshen it up but yeah that is how I take care of my taping extensions these are still holding up so well if you want to check out the video where I talked about them you can check it out here so happy with them so far very important to make sure you're conditioning them keeping them hydrated sealing them all of that and then also taking care of your scalp as well that is very important so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for hanging out and I really hope to see you guys in future videos